Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Tarot Odyssey. I am just going to do like special messages coming through from Guide State in whatever area they come through with whatever cards that come up. I've got the lovely um, our Aboriginal Goddess Chakra cards that I got yesterday and then the Heal Yourself reading cards right here that are represented right here and um, then I'm going to use some of the beautiful um, Cheryl um, Heinz cards so we're just going to go through and see what messages are coming through because I feel like there's all kinds of lovely um, opportunities and avenues that we can travel down you know it's like uncharted waters I keep hearing so many people um, I feel like are going to thrive when they do things a little differently they change a little bit way they're going to be more expansive and flexible and it's going to be really good for you so I'm going to let, let you make your choices today we have number one which is unleash your creativity and that's also mark card 31 and that's with um, celestite which is the angel stone and then we have number two alchemy which is number 25 and then we have a beautiful labradorite stone which I love it because it's like the um the aurora borealis is like in the sides of this one it's really cool and then we have a regular crystal quartz with the inner child card which is 16 i'll let you make your choice i hope you all are having a good beginning to the week and um, i'm happy to be able to create some videos today for you it's really lovely outside i'm hoping to go do some outside for you later as well so okay yeah if my voice sounds just a little tired i just had to do like a lot of talking so it's like i'm feeling good i just feel like my voice is a little tired so I'll take a break in a moment after this, but I wanted to have a lovely video ready for you guys. So this is about allowing your, oh, I'm sorry. So now we're going to start with number one. I'm like, I'll just start talking about any rando and probably the cat will come in because she just jumped up. So this is saying your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful asset. So allow your imagination to start roaming without limits and access new ideas without judging them. So right now it's a time for you to, to have this innovative and experience and birth unique creation so if you're feeling stuck get up and move try new things meet new people read books paint etc i moved everything to a different room last night when i thought when i started to feel like my office was too workshoppy and i wanted to be more creative i brought everything out into the living room and laid it out in a vision board to um, piece some jewelry pieces together change your environment at times sometimes when you switch that up it's helpful so concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others do you have an affinity for gardening can you tell powerful stories are you technically minded all these things can you whip up amazing meals special um, what is your special flavor of creativity so whatever it is give yourself permission and time to be inventive right now the more creative you allow yourself to be the more fulfilled you're going to feel so that's definitely your strongest message it's out there you need to really um, leave more time for your creative aspects right otherwise what happens is we'll do our daily grind of whatever our nine to five sometimes that people have to do and then they get a little too tired or they tell themselves I'm just gonna watch a little bit of Netflix this and that but we really need those beautiful creative expressions often when we're doing that too is when we receive our beautiful intuitive hits I feel when we're creative our vibration goes way up for sure that is a definite so it's very helpful that um, we be using that and utilizing that so I chose a beautiful um, deck yesterday called the aboriginal goddess chakra cards i love that and this is the aphrodite card so aphrodite is the beautiful greek goddess of love and she represents love in all its different levels um the most potent aspect she represents is self-love right so self-love at our very core is who we are our being and it determines our personal value or self-worth that we set right she was born a fully grown woman okay she emerged from a shell in the middle of the sea on the island of cyprus the goddess of love she had the ability to enchant men and women wherever she went her very present cited feelings of love and lust so she had many lovers and she refused to be tied down or limit her love and she encouraged women to enjoy partners and pleasure and also to remember to have self-love and believe in yourself and um, deliver yourself the life that you want and don't deny yourself anything with that. So every once in a while, we need to stop and ask ourselves, what do I want? What do I need? If you feel lost at times um, and you feel it's hard to find your direction, sometimes it's just a temporary um 
it's just temporary eluding us. You know what I mean? It's like we spend our lives making sure we meet the needs of our children, our loved ones, but who's meeting our needs? Even if you have someone that loves you and cares for you, you still need to be responsible for yourself and your needs. Okay. So what we need most in love, we, um, and seek from others and find what we're looking for within ourself as well. It takes a little work at times for sure, but it's worth the journey to love ourselves. It's our most sacred gift. And that's our gift to others as well, because when we love ourselves, we usually tend to be more balanced, aligned and calm, right? That's a lovely message for sure. And I definitely believe that hugely. Now, here's another thing you're going to be going through, which is wonderful with this creative spark, new beginnings, you're going to begin your new life. It's almost like you're shedding your skin and you're like, you know what, the weather is turning beautiful. I'm feeling like there's some unfinished business I have. I want to wrap up loose ends. You feel like you're ready to just step out there in, in this beautiful creative world that you're going to make for yourself. You're not going to tolerate anybody else's nonsense or them being your thief of them being the thief of your time. You know what I mean? Like just whether it's through conversation or low vibration, something that you don't want to um, have a part in, you're just going to excuse yourself from it. And you're going to be so happy that you're able to do that because, um, we tend to spend a huge percentage of our time listening to a lot of other people's hot air and garbage, whether it's through text, calling us or whatever. You know what I mean? Just people just like to communicate or unleash everything on us. So we have to realize when we're selective on what we watch and what we watch, read and ingest for that, it'll be all right. Because it's one of those things that when we act like all is well, we're going to have enough time. We do have enough time. When we feel like we're brave, we have courage. It's all those things. So when we feel like our time is valuable, we're going to treat it as such and we're not going to waste on people places and things that aren't deserving of it which is really you know one of the most things we and right now too I feel like you're going to start learning from people that inspire you whether it's artists singers or whatever they're really going to help you because I feel like you're stepping into some leadership qualities right now so it's time to start setting your goals again the easiest way to do that is writing things down one two three you know as simple as that I'm going to do this one two three and yeah intuition right now just simply follow your intuition you're going to have beautiful intuitive hits and insights when we realize that you know we have beautiful divine messages that come all the time all the time and we tap into them we're going to get aligned it's amazing it's like we spend such a huge part of our life sometimes asleep where we need where we need to wake up and remember that we're spiritual and mortal beings taking on a temporary hum i'm sorry immortal beings that are taking on just a temporary human form it's not our identity that's tied into our ego that we see our small self. It's our soul's message that we recognize how wonderful and expansive and evolutionized we are, you know, to all these new heights and potentials. You know, I feel like it's being orchestrated continually by in, in this beautiful invisible realm that helps us. So when our mind is in alignment with this divine intelligence, it becomes um, an endless stream of great ideas creativity love and all these things we decide that you know the world is our oyster because intuitively we know that time is cyclical and it keeps coming back and we get to adjust and have new experiences and just really get tapped into that beautiful white magic that is always there for us so great messages for you group number one yeah you're you're gonna have like profound profound intuitive insights coming to you very soon so i love that energy for you so love and light to you now we're on to group three group two, which is alchemy. You know, I went to the fair yesterday and I got this stone and I was like, it looks like a black diamond stick. First of all, it looks like tourmaline, but it looks like tourmaline. That's like bismuth combined, but also like there's diamonds in it. And it's actually, it has a special name. I've never seen it before. And the gem expert that was there was like, no, I'd never seen this stuff before till I went to this specific place. He's like, I was amazed by it. And he's like, he had a couple of the, the larger sticks of it. And I got one for Hagen. I just go in and I look at it and I'll show it in the next video because it looks like black diamonds. The thing blows my mind. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like I could not believe how gorgeous it was. And I feel like it has amazing properties. First of all, I feel like it does have like the tourmaline properties of being very grounded, but I also feel like it has um, the celestite type thing, like the angel connection. It just is something else. It's in the other room, but I will definitely, I'll put it, come on Instagram, sparkrist11, and I'll put it on there today. When you see it, it's like, you're going to be um, very surprised, but it. it's very unique. So the alchemy card says the path that you're on is 
that you're about to go through right now. You're on and you're walking through is a very powerful transformation. Nothing is really as it seems, and you're going to have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness. So it's extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that don't service you anymore, okay? Because you're going to have access to the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. So meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They're on their way to coming true, all right? So let go of expectations. What is about to appear can surpass what's about to appear is going to surpass anything you've ever dreamed of. So the most important part is that you're prepared and ready to receive. That's it. All you do is say thank you and you're ready to receive. Allow it. The end, you know, lots of times when people are on the verge of or just starting to receive like they write a book and they get published, all of a sudden these crazy doubts come in. They almost want to self-sabotage because they're not used to it, right? It is out of the norm. But when you change and you start to manifest and things start to go your way, you're almost like, what the actual hell is going on, right? But we do have to let go of expectations because the energy around you right now is very potent. And at the moment, make sure that you're using the time as productively as possible. So give yourself time for prayer, gratitude, and celebration for sure, because you're really, really manifesting some stuff beautifully. And look what else you got that's following this it's great celebration so let go and have fun that's part of you raising your vibration and pulling all this magic to you and all this majesty and all this lovely um, I feel like it's like that elven energy where everything's just light, bright, and sparkly and twinkly and happy, shiny people are all around you because you're really accepting it. You know, first you're expecting, then you're accepting, and then you're just participating in it, which is lovely. So I love that energy for you. That was fast and clear for this group. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah, you're going to, it's like you're oscillating really high and you're, you have like that extra sort of gear in your head that is just providing you with answers. And you know, it's the creative influx, all of that loving forgiveness energy that that's part of it too. You're not carrying any heavy load. You've got that beautiful full energy of tra la 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 la. You know, it's lovely. You're like Smurfette. So that's you, group two. Love and light to you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. All my links are down below. If you need a private read, if you want to come see me on Instagram, it's sparkrist11. I do funny posts and crazy memes, and it's a great tribe over there. And everything's down there. My Etsy store and the Goddess Provisions link. Everything is there. So yeah, get into action, people, because you're going to be doing amazing. I keep hearing deliciously, deliciously. And if any of you cook, I feel like you're going to invent something, some new thing that is going to be like mind blowing, some casserole, some salad, some something. So if you've been experienced, keep going with that. Beautiful. So now we're on to number three, which is the inner child. I like this card a lot. I think it's sweet. I think I have my best days when I'm just a silly and I connect with my inner child because children slow down and they observe, don't they? They observe flowers. They observe trees. They observe animals. I've never seen a kid in a park not stop and stare at a dog. If a dog goes by, right? They're like, look at that dog. I want to touch that dog. I want to talk to that dog. You know what I mean? That's the inner child. Like they even make dog noises. It's so funny when we're silly and light like that. I feel like we prosper and do well in life because we don't have crazy expectations. We're not thinking about money or how to pay bills or any garbage like that. We're just thinking of the beauty and majesty that we're surrounded by, usually in nature. Their children are constantly in awe. And I love that. And they also have a beginner's mind. They don't think they know everything and they don't think they have to know everything. I love that as well about children. So your inner child is urging you to lighten up a little, get out of your comfort zone and just have fun. So in order to be healthy, we have to engage our imagination, right? Our creativity, our spontaneity. When's the last time you did something spontaneous, intuitive or outrageous? When you you're like oftentimes if it's raining all my kids want to just run out in the rain like Hagen loves running in the rain and puddle jumping and he's 15 and I'm right away thinking of the cleanup and putting stuff in the dryer and I'm like why are you thinking like that you love the rain too calm down <laughs> you know what I mean but it is weird as adults how we think of the practical and the the cleanup of all that instead you know we just have to tap into that inner child because it can be our strongest ally right um it can assist us to heal childhood pain, rejection, loneliness, abandonment. It can take us on exciting adventures. It can help us become more confident, daring, original, and bold. Kids oftentimes, they'll speak with their mind right away when you ask them a question. They're not second guessing themselves how it's coming through or any of that. They just start talking, right? So this card beckons you to heal your inner childhood 
to heal your inner childhood pain and discover your independence, your compassion, your creativity, your talents, and your joys. Because you're about to create a lot of magic in your life due to the fact that you're deciding to um, do that. And it's funny that you got next the cheer up card that says live in the moment. I feel you've had heavier thoughts that adults have to have. If you're also, if you're going to be graduating from school and attending new schools and meeting new people and going to graduations and going to all these things, you're already thinking in terms of the adult measures. What do I need? What's going on? Instead of, ooh, who am I going to see? There's going to be so much joy there because any event like that, there's always, you know, the joy of possibility, the expectation of what's yet to come, all those things. That's what children do. They're like, ooh, it's like Christmas Eve for them in these type of events, which I love. So you also have I like this, the three of spring cards. So it says, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. So have patience. There's more good things to come and you're going to have satisfaction from a job well done. So when you take your time and you sort of hone your craft, whatever you're doing or preparing, whether it's a meal, a, um, you know, a business plan, whatever it is, it's like, take your time. Part of the, the joy in all of that is the the journey of it the participation and the artistry of it right it's not necessarily i gotta be the fishing line where's my document that says i won right so many adults do that certify me stamp me certify me and send me off to mazadland i won it's the craziest thing i don't understand it they, they all the what about all the beautification process of getting there you know what i mean like i love watching people do makeup tutorials like tati like i love the before and after and like people talking while they're putting on makeup and all that it's it's so fun it's like yeah you can see a finished product but I like to know about the journey and now is like where you're really experiencing it in a really lovely way and I feel like a big part of this is because you're letting go situations that served your purpose you're like voila good day to you you're just letting it go you know um, you see you have a really big bird's eye view of this now too and you know that saying goodbye isn't easy you know because sometimes especially relationships we can feel like we failed but we can heal very easy and we don't need to hold on to things because it's time to grow for you for sure and you're discovering your life purpose faster and faster you're asking yourself you know what is the meaning of my life and you nothing is impossible for a soul who is following their destiny nothing you know your guides your angels your higher self are constantly communicating you through signs feelings people books etc everything so start following your hunches because they're there this is the reason i i flipped this over but i hadn't moved it yet and that's contact you are being contacted they are here and they are going to attract to you what you desire and they are helping you and they understand that souls need to process certain information and they need to learn and grow and then they start to manifest what they need and what's best for them right whether you want to attend a seminar you want to speak to somebody you want to paint you want to travel you're going to feel that beckoning call that soul wish honor it and go someplace and do something that you want for you forget about what everybody else wants you to do who cares what that they're not living your life you are in this life for you and you want to live it for yourself and you want to live your best life so now's your time and you're going to feel this connectedness to spirit who's going to be guiding you towards this so yeah heed the call and you're going to have a such a dynamic summer you guys i'm serious i already feel like you guys being wistful and dreamy and having the storybook romance visiting these places you never thought you'd see because you're really being aware and present in everything that you're doing you've released fear you've released going in the past you're not skipping in the future you know you are just totally present it's a thing of beautiful and that's what children do that's what that beautiful child spirit does everything is enhanced because it has your absolute focus which is beautiful and i love that energy for you group too so love and light too if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read if you want to go to my instagram which is sparkwist 11 i do all kinds of fun um my link is down below for that too. I do all kinds of fun memes and postings and it's a hilarious tribe and I love them. And then my Patreon page is down there below too if you want to support the channel. And for $1 of joining my Patreon and supporting my channel, you get that $100 love course. And for the public, it's $100. It took a lot and we're still piecing it all together. And I have a great helper that's helping me, Sonia Wilson over in New Zealand. And, you know, it's basically says how, you know, um, love is its own language. And when you have the right keywords, responses, and phrases you're going to make an impact the way you should and you're going to connect the way you should and you're going to make your partner feel the way you should and it just garners beautiful results it took me a long time to get the right experts in the right place and really feel like this is it you know what i mean the real juice of what should happen and when and i was really impressed by some of these people after i condensed it so um love and light to you guys i'm very excited i'm going to go upload this